to the uh, lower dollar amount ones. Henry Ford was, was a wife-beating drunk and an anti-Semite. I didn't know he was a wife-beating drunk. I knew he was an anti-Semite, but I didn't know he was a wife-beating drunk. Yet a rationally selfish, productive genius at the same time. Doesn't this demonstrate human psychology and morality on binary? Yeah, I mean, I definitely think human psychology and morality on binary. Uh, you know, it, you know, people can be, can compartmentalize. They can be productive geniuses in some aspect of their lives and be irrational in the other aspects of your life. You can see that all around us. We can see uh, people who are super rational in one area and superly irrational in another area. Um, Nobel Prize winning scientists who are religious. Uh, businessmen, profit-seeking, productive, brilliant businessmen who are religious, who are socialist, who are have wrong views. And I didn't know, I, I didn't know, and I, 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 I'm not taking your word for it, but let's assume that Henry Ford was a white beating drunk. Uh, yeah, I mean, there probably are some like that. I think it's rare because there's a certain level of irrationality and a certain level of rationality of a productive genius that you can't hold this separate. And of course, even Henry Ford couldn't hold them as separate. And, and I'm sure he was a deeply unhappy man because he couldn't hold them as separate. But it is truly amazing that you can, um, that, you, that, that human psychology is such that you can compartmentalize and that you can be brilliant and productive and in a sense moral in one area and not in another, which means you're, you know. Now, I still think that in our context, as a historical figure, what we focus on is the way he changed the world. That's what impacts us. That's what needs to be venerated. While acknowledging that he was a bad man in other areas of his life. But that the white beating and the anti-Semitism, you know, one wonders, I don't know enough about Henry Ford, but was he a productive genius for his whole life? Did he slip towards later in life? Um, because the mind is an integrating machine. And if you've got a compartment with deep irrationality in it, with evasive, anti-like behavior associated with it, that's going to creep into everything else that you do, and it's not sustainable. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals. Uh, and uh, and show your support for all for, for for the work for the value hopefully you're receiving from this and uh, and of course don't forget if you're not a subscriber even if you even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up you'll know what shows are on when they're on you'll get notified right so um, yes like. Share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. 
Do one or all of those, please. 